morning we're just finishing up our language arts activity. Uh, the students were using an app, they did some online reading, and they're documenting that reading in a Good Notes um, writer's notebook on, on their iPads, and we're just going to switch to math in a few minutes. Okay, so I want to make sure, grade sixes, that everyone has their Good Notes um, notebook set up so that the next time we're reading online, we can capture what we've read in our Good Notes notebook. sure that you're not getting shortchanged at the stores. Absolutely, it helps. Mental math is very useful. So yesterday we talked about how division and multiplication are connected. How are they connected? How are they connected? Caitlin? Uh, it's because it's the complete opposite. The complete opposite. Can you elaborate on that or can anybody piggyback on that thought, Isaiah? If you know multiplication, you know division. Like, can anybody draw it on the board for me and explain to me? Is it not? Ryan Rockway, you want to try that? Explain what Lou Jane was saying. Take that idea and grow it. And then give you some more space to work with. This class is awesome at growing each other's ideas. You're building a con. It's like Lego blocks. You keep building and building a, bit, a bigger and better idea. Um, so if it was, um, for example, 7 times 5, that's 35, but in division it could be 35 divided by 7 and it would equal 5. Oh, that makes it so simple. Cyrus? Well, they just move it around. Okay. Yvonne? You're so working backwards. Working backwards, moving the numbers around. And what do we learn about that equal sign? Because we're going to define that today after we do our daily math practice. and write the definition, and it has to be your own personal definition for the word, what is the word of the day? Equal. Equal. So I want you to define it. Use any tools that you have at your disposal. So what are some of the things you could use to define the word? Balanced. Balanced, okay, but what, what could you, uh, you could use that, right? If you need to create a visual image, you could use the word balanced, or you could draw a picture of that, right? But you could also look in your glossary of the math textbook, right? You can look, you look at the dictionary, you can use pictures, words, and what else? Numbers. Numbers to explain it, right? I'm looking for that rich definition showing me that you really get the concept, okay? Mission accepted? Yes. Off you go. May the force be with you. What? Okay. 